أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قد أفلح المؤمنون الذين هم في صلاتهم خاشعون صدق الله صدق الله العلي العظيم Brothers and sisters, inshallah, I'm carrying on from the last small speech I gave. So I want everyone, as mentioned before, to lend me an attentive ear. So for all those at home, I just want you to sort of get away from what you're doing and just really think about what I'm going to say. I recited some verses of the Qur'an. قَدْ أَفْلَحَ الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is addressing us saying, Successful indeed are the believers. الَّذِينَ هُمْ فِي صَلَاتِهِمْ Khashi'un, those who offer their salah in a submissive state. Subhanallah, these two verses are sufficient for us to know what we need in terms of attaining happiness. A lot of us, subhanallah, when you look into people's lives, they're chasing things, they're chasing happiness, they're chasing success. Whether one looks into buying a house, getting a family, etc., finding a new partner, you know, getting a new car, etc. Everyone's chasing happiness. But one thing we need to understand as Muslims is that wherever you're chasing, remember whether it's that woman, whether it's that car, whether it's that house, ultimately these are temporary things. These are things which will either die, which will rust away, etc. Whether it's a car, for example, it will rust away. A woman, she may leave, she may pass away. So whatever success you're looking in for into these things, you will not find it. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us that successful or success is in the salah. So I want brothers and sisters to really understand this, that this is what makes us Muslim. Remember the difference between you right now sitting at home and those whom we call disbelievers. The difference between us is the covenant of salah. If we do not pray salah, how can we call ourselves Muslim? I want you to understand this. If right now I'm walking and I'm let's say with a woman, I cannot claim to love her if I don't do actions which demonstrate my love. For example, you right now sitting at home, you see a boy or you see a girl and they come to you and they try and say they love you. But they don't do anything, they don't take you out to the cinemas, they don't do X, Y and Z, they don't buy you roses, you know, they're not nice to you. You will say that these are just words. Same way, if you right now at home, you believe in Allah in the last day and you do not pray your salah, remember you are not demonstrating any actions which claim or which show that you actually love Allah. So if you really love Allah, then do as he says in the Quran. As Allah says, قُلْ تُحِبُّونَ اللَّهِ Say if you love Allah, فَاتَّبِعُونِ Follow Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And what did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa say to us? He said the first thing is أَقِيمُ الصَّلَاةِ Establish the salah. So I want brothers and sisters to really do this at home. Drop your pens, drop everything and engage in your salahs. Brothers and sisters, please do not take this as what we call a soft reminder. Take it as it could be your last. And pray your salah. For if you do not pray your salah, remember there will be a day where salah will be prayed upon you. So I leave you with this message. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow me to establish my salah. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow my family, my friends and my community as a whole to establish salah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept it from me and you. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant victory to the mujahideen, those whom are fighting for our cause. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ooh. Mm-hmm.